Hi, I am Dr. Rohit Adhya Prasad, Lead uh, Consultant for Cochlear Implant Surgery and ENT at Astor RB Hospital, Bangalore. Uh, we had a child from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, who had travelled all the way from there to Bangalore for cochlear implant surgery. They were of course evaluated by a team back at home and were counselled regarding the need for surgery for which the parents had options of travelling to Europe uh, or possibly Turkey and also had options of coming back here. Uh, the father decided to come down to India to explore the options of getting a cochlear implant surgery for his child. Uh, the child, when once they landed in, they were taken into the system, into the hospital. Uh, the child was a very happy child. Uh, it was very nice to interact with them. Of course, we were very well supported by our translating person by name Mrs. Shoma. The child uh, was evaluated completely radiologically and audiologically so that we can decide whether the child is an ideal candidate for cochlear implant surgery. Once this process was done and it was decided the child could go for surgery, the father who had come with the child was sat down and counseled by me and by my team regarding what are the available cochlear implant devices that can be used for the child. He was explained in depth regarding the need for a specific device on multiple options available, what are the options available for devices which are worn on the outside, on the options of compatibility with MRI and on the choices of electrodes which are best suited for his child. There was also a, a technology which enables us to decide on what electrode that can be used in the cochlear implant device suiting the child's available space inside the cochlea. So this was done by a technology called as Otoplan and the child was uh, assessed by a device uh, back at the company's uh, module and a device was identified. Once the electrode was identified and the father was counselled in depth regarding the possible options, this discussion was further taken up to the same medical team that sent the child across from Africa to keep them in the understanding of what are the options that were available for him. And all this was helped by complete translation in various depth by the teams available at our hospital so that at all, all times the father knew exactly what was the devices and what was the plan that was being selected for his child. Once this was decided, the father decided to go for a 3 Tesla compatible cochlear implant uh, which was MRI 3 Tesla compatible as well as a processor which sits off the ear. Uh, within a time span of 4-5 days, the child was evaluated by our anesthesia team and uh, certified fit for the procedure. Uh, the procedure lasted around a couple of hours to 3 hours and the child was admitted in the hospital for a day. Uh, the post-operative period was uneventful and the child went off and was discharged with a big smile on his face. This was very encouraging for the father because they were initially apprehensive regarding the surgery and the child, is the child going to take up the surgery? So the father was really counseled regarding the different age groups that are operated starting from a child as small as 9 months onwards. So the father was more pacified or father was more aware that yes, these are the procedures that happen in our hospital and was also more relaxed at the end of the day when he found that his child was smiling and was sleeping well. Once the child was discharged, a routine procedure of routine dressings and all were performed and everything once healed up, in three weeks time from date of surgery, the parent and the child were called in to switch on the cochlear implant device. On the first expression of providing the sound to the child, there was a smile on the child's face which is very evident and the father was very happy with that because he had never seen his child responding and smiling to sound before. This brought new hope to the father and he decided that this is what he wanted for his child and this is what he would take forward home and send the message across to his own friends and his family and also people and parents who have children like this. The therapy modules and the audiology teams were completely involved in the entire process and a specific map and program was defi de uh, defined for the child and the teams waiting to receive the child back in their own hometown were also updated on the same. The therapy teams uh, awaiting the child in Ethiopia were also aware of what the procedure was done and what needs to be done in, in future, which is the actual starting journey of the child in, in the terms of speech and hearing. So the child from entry to exit uh, was comfortably taken care in a span of one month and had a comfortable journey back home and is back home with his mother and they're very grateful to us for getting this thing done for the child. 
We were very ably supported by our team from the international desk who were very good at translating their language and communicating to them in depth in every single point, making the family, especially the father, feel at home when he was here for the treatment. We will operate on children who have hearing loss by birth from all ages, starting as early as eight to nine months. And the earlier the intervention is done, the better it is for the child to develop hearing and subsequently develop speech. You can come and meet us at Astor Arby Hospital. For any further inquiries, you can call us, you can get in touch with us. We'll always be there to help you out.